Okay, so a quick video on the generic rectangle. Here's how it works. You're going to see a lot of this in our, in our classroom. The generic rectangle is a way to turn a product into what we say is a sum. So we're turning a product into a sum is kind of the idea. And so a product and a sum, um, the way that's going to look a lot of times is it's going to look like this. A product is when you multiply two things together. So you can have a quantity, something, times another quantity. And what's inside those parentheses can be vastly different. You can come up with all sorts of things. So something times something. A, we say a quantity times a quantity is a product. And we're going to turn that into a sum. And a sum is a whole bunch of things being added together. So a whole bunch of things being added together. And so I'm going to make up an example here of what a product could look like. Let's say in this parenthesis we were multiplying x plus 2 times another parenthesis with like, uh, we'll say x minus 5. x plus 2 times x minus 5. Well, one way we could tackle this problem is we could think about it like this. We could think about it as a rectangle. And this is just one strategy, but I'm going to draw a rectangle down here. This is called the generic rectangle. And I'm going to be labeling all the different sides. If I have x plus 2 and x minus 5, why don't we think about that like this? Think about that as a, a length times a width. Remember how you find the area of a rectangle? You do length times width. Well, if x plus 2 is the length, then x plus 2 is the length on the side of the rectangle. If the width is x minus 5, then x minus 5 is the width on the bottom. And what we're going to do is, if it's length times width, is we're just going to split this up into four sections. So let's make that look a little nicer. Split this up into four sections. And we're going to take those, those sides, those x plus 2's, x minus 5's, and copy them to the opposite sides. If x minus 5's on the bottom, technically x minus 5 could be on the top also. They match. If x plus 2 is on the side, it's on both sides, really, if you think about it. It's the length and width of this rectangle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the rectangle, and I'm going to go corner to corner here to each of these corners. And basically what I'm going to do in each corner is I'm going to times the length times the width. That's what I'm going to do. So I go to the first corner here, and I have a 2 and an x. 2 times x is what's going on here. Well, 2 times x. I think that's going to be easier to rewrite as just, I'll erase this, 2 times x is just 2 x's. So I go up to the next corner and I see I have an x times an x in this corner. Well, x times x is really the same as x squared. So we're going to write x squared. In this corner I have negative 5 times x. Well, that's really negative 5x. In this corner, I have negative 5 times 2. Well, that is really negative 10. So I get these four pieces. I get an x squared, a minus 5x, a 2x, and a negative 10. And those are going to make up my sum. That's the area of the rectangle. We have a, I'll write it over here. We have an x squared, a minus 5x, plus we have 2x's, and we have a minus 10. Technically, this is my answer. This is my sum. And I could stop there, but I do see something I could combine. I can put x's together. If I have negative 5x's and 2x's, negative 5 plus 2 is really negative 3x's. So I'm going to write my final answer like this. I'm going to say I have an x squared. And then I'm going to say I have minus 3x's because I put them together. And then I have that minus 10. And I got my answer. And that is how the generic rectangle works. We're turning a product into a sum by doing length times width and using this fun little rectangle strategy. And uh, it's really smooth. It works for any kind of product, so it's really nice.